Well, what do I get in return for paying for dinner? Baby boy, you get to be in her presence. If you want things, go date a man. You need to be dating a man. The problem with a lot of straight guys is they don't like women. I'm not attracted to women, but I think I like women more than a lot of these guys. There have been wars fought over women. There's countries where a man can't even be in the same room with a woman who he isn't related to. That's how powerful and strong and desirable and valuable femininity and womanhood is. And, and men in the West are like, well, what am I getting in return for holding the door open for you? You get to be around her. You do things for her to convince her that you're a protector, a provider, you're safe, and she spends time with you. And in return, you get to be around her. You want a provider? Date men. I can give you a lot of advice on that if you need that. You shouldn't be dating women. If you want things in return, if simply being around her isn't enough for you, you're dating the wrong woman or the wrong gender. Okay, so the the caption mentions that it doesn't, it's not to bash men, but that's kind of not how they chop this up. Um, this guy on the right goes viral quite often because this is his position. Um, but he he doesn't realize that he kind of goes against his own point at a, at a particular point. Remember where he said, um, and there are countries where you can't be in the same room around a woman whom you aren't related to. But then he's talking about, oh, you get to be in our prison just by buying shit. You don't realize the contradiction there? Simply being around a woman in the context that you're speaking of while using an example of you can't be around a non-relative. Well, obviously, there is a conflict. There's I think that's the proper word. There's a confliction in simply being around a woman in a romantic way in the way that we do over here in America, what we call dating. Right. That ought to tell you that this thing that we do, which dating, hooking up, or all that, that should tell you that it's wrong. Now, your idea of it being desired and all that type of stuff, obviously not wrong, obviously correct. But a lot of the problems come from this, we're all just friends and you get to have male friends or female friends uh, and all that stuff. That should tell you how wrong this is. Because if like now, another thing that conflicts with that, if you are in a relationship with a woman, are you then able to say no friends of the opposite gender? Because think about that. How could you justify having friends of the opposite gender while being straight if you're saying that it's that desirable to the point where in other countries don't even let you be around women who aren't your relative? You see, when, when you just talk shit, you, you end up just talk, just being stupid and wrong. There's countries where a man can even be in the same room with a woman who he isn't related to. And the whole thing about if you want a provider, the data man. No, it's, it's not necessarily that we want things in return. We'll take non-tangible things in return, but one of the has to be... Uh, loyalty. Um, another way. What's another way to say that? Uh, shit. What is it? What is it? Exclusivity. No shit like that. It is not enough that I have to that I have to pay for a date. But then you literally, if you wanted to, could just leave that date and go right to another one. That that's not a fair exchange to me. That's not something I desire. This is a huge problem that people get to overlook things like this and just say men want to be controlling. Men want a pet. Men want a slave. Shit like that. It gets really, it's really starting to fucking bother me that you are, that people get to paint men in this picture. Like we just, we out of nowhere start asking, what do we get? What do you bring to the table? Out of nowhere. For no reason other than we're selfish and no good. Just now today. All of a sudden. Nothing played on the other part. No reasons we come to this conclusion. We just turned to shit. From the shit that y'all complain about we used to be, which also is not good, but it's opposite of now, that y'all don't want now, y'all want opposite of what we used to be, which is shit. Damn, make up your mind. Shit. 
I guess it's a good time to bring up the whole things are different now since we're there. Let's think let's think about that. In a society where simply your first of all, your presence was never good enough. Let me let me actually backtrack on that. A woman's presence was never good enough. Like that alone. Like I literally just seen a reel not too long ago where a woman went on a whole thing about uh, uh, sterilizing herself and about how, about how it's not okay that there's a law that prevents that and all that type of shit. And then now we got abortion. Well, we've had abortion for a while, but y'all get the y'all get the thing. Women freezing their eggs. Women, women, women just well, people in general. But this, we're talking about women here. Just deciding not to have kids. You can't use this whole feminine energy, femininity, all that, just being a powerful energy that you want around. And also do shit like that in mass. That shit is crazy. That we're supposed to appreciate appreciate you the exact same way, while literally saying I'm not birthing no fucking kids. Whoa, that that is a huge part of that. A fucking huge part. But you get to get pissy about dudes not wanting to protect and provide. The second you say hey, I'm not, I'm either not going to have kids. Or I'm going to have them when I'm like 80. Or if I decide, if I get pregnant and decide, ah, ah, I'll kill it. Nigga, you don't get to go protect and provide. The agreement is over with. You can't have that. What the fuck? Your, your, your existence is not enough. Oh my God. Especially, especially, hold on, let's go down one. Damn. Damn it. Oh, here we go. When I can just load up this. Now, is it the real thing? Obviously not. But is it enough? Yeah. Yeah. When you're telling me that the either you want to be the elite guy who gets it for damn near free, ain't got to do shit. All this, and that's another thing. We'll get to that in a second. But then the other guy, he got to go getting you a bunch of shit and all that in order just to be in your presence. That's when the mountain is too high. That's when the river is too high. That's when the valley is too goddamn low and shallow to, you know, take the chance. I, I don't know how to, that full saying. I, I've only heard the song a little bit. But you get the point. There is a price that men are not willing to pay. Shocking, I know. It's shocking and it sucks. Because when dudes go, I'm not paying for that shit. I'm not. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Like in this generation now where dudes are like, wait a minute. If I do have a kid with this lady, I run the risk of this, blah, blah, blah. And she's already talking like this, already acting like this. She's got a kid already. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Dudes used to, and I said this before, I think society is like, like kind of like thrown off a little bit that dudes aren't waiting until they're like 60 broke kids hate them living in some stinky apartment because, you know, child support cleaning them out and shit and they, and they just went through it. I think that society waited until men got to that point and before they were, before men would complain like every generation. And it's like, no, we have social media now. Not only have we seen those dudes, heard those dudes, we've also heard women talk a lot of shit via social media. A lot of shit. So that dude is a lot less likely to break break off anything, whether it's money, uh, effort, time, you know, like stop from you on the side of the road, or uh, if, if, you're, if you see your chain you're on tire, he's less likely to uh, let me... Uh, like, a lot of that shit is gone, yes, because you understand that your role, and you know that role that, you know, the thing that y'all try to, like, shame dudes with, that they just, you know, when they get over it, and they just accept facts, and they go, yeah, I know I'm not that guy, so all I really am is, like, a working thing that I just, I just do shit for people, do shit for Society, and then you know, I die. Like, 
dudes understand that is that is a shitty deal. That is a fucking shitty deal. So I can understand if hey, the the whole in, energy around you, I could definitely understand if a dude said you like these dudes on the internet who go, fuck it, I buy a dog. Now I don't I, I, I think the whole I personally like I, I've interviewed Turt Fling and Monkey before. I didn't bring that up, but um I still follow him on Instagram and I see it every now and again. Now, I also his podcast. I myself can't pretend. Like if it really got that bad, I would just go get a hooker for a couple hours. You know, I when you don't have kids, you can say that kind of money. But I would rather go that route, right? But I understand dudes when they say I'll go to the extreme of buying a dog and say fuck it. I'll go to the extra extreme of getting a doll that I can pair with AI and have breakfast with it. Like that is at that point it start just starts to make sense. The fact that I I have to do work and then we're all the way to the point to where you feel like your existence is enough. Literally like women i'm not attracted to women but i think i like women more than a lot oh, and, and, and again wanting wanting different things and seeing the world different is not disliking women not wanting to pay for her existence is not liking women They're not not disliking women or hating women like y'all have gotten a depth y'all are able somehow to get definitions to fit whatever the fuck y'all want all the way to the point where incel when I looked it up at dictionary.com, and so literally in, in the dictionary for dictionary.com says uh, an online group of dudes who hate women, something, 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 something. And it's like, what? How the fuck did you? That's not even a definition. That is not a definition. That's a hit piece in a dictionary. How the fuck did y'all get that? Anyway, y'all get the point. I kind of lost myself there. Y'all get the point. Let's go look at some of these. Uh, Comments and see what see what they say. Uh, ladies, pay attention to the comments in, the, in this post. Those are the men he is talking about. And you really, you, you didn't give a shit. You gave us nothing. Let me save this just in case Instagram does that Instagram thing. And it's only black men. Is it now? Is it? The fuck? T.S. Dope. All right, listen, I understand that there is a gender going on specifically with black people. Uh, I am not a part of it. I don't be in the comment section saying fuck black women and respond going back and forth with a black chick. I, is, but I, I do have to say this to black women. Y'all recruitment is on level 1,000. I've seen I've seen comment sections where y'all have recruited y'all ass off in this gender war. Damn. Y'all land a fucking hammer down with the recruitment. Michigan need to hire y'all get their five stars up. Holy shit. Y'all done got a whole transsexual adult Dominican Chinese adult entertainer. Damn. Not even a black woman. My God. <sighs> what happened to equality? I'm confused. Didn't they fight for equality for decades? And now Fruity Pebbles over here acting like they, them speaking gospel. You know, I didn't realize it until I got to the, the I gay doll apparently. How did I see that in the name? Anyway, but yeah, it's, hell, I seen it in, in the post like uh, 30 minutes ago about uh, some 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 guy said some shit about uh, men something something. And you look at his picture and it's, he's obviously, it's like, why, how? We ain't got a bunch of dykes on our side. How did y'all do this? Like dykes actually compete against us for y'all. Damn, this is not this is a handicap fight and it's not fair.
A gay guy give men advice on dating women. Okay. Uh, is that is he black? Is he black? You call that black? Uh, I, sure. We'll take, you know, he's black too, I guess. All the men who realize they're gay are out in the cop. This shit is getting so old. It's getting so old. Like, it, like let's, 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 let's take this time out real quick. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to use the exact same tactic we're talking about. But fuck it, we'll, 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 we'll move forward anyway. Ladies, y'all can't keep using the he's gay thing or he might be gay. When y'all literally, as I cover in the video before, if y'all not getting fucked right, y'all use that as an excuse to go and have coochie sex with a woman. Stop the bullshit, bro. Stop it. I don't I have, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I've never heard a dude be like, man, I ain't had no good head in a minute. And you think you can help? Like, I've never heard that. Ever. Like, it's, this is getting ridiculously old. It is, it's not even feasible anymore. I'm not even, like, except the dudes who are already on y'all side, I don't know if how this even works today. Because honestly, I couldn't give a fuck. If I was going back and forth one of y'all, yo, you're gay. Uh, okay. So now the problem you cause is either a gay man disagrees with you, which kind of throws a wrench into your thing, or you're, you're just talking shit, which means you're lost. So if all these guys are gay who disagree with you, well, it sounds like gay guys really just don't like when, like, you defeat your own point with this shit. Like, the logic defeats itself. Alright. All the straight men here are pissed. Why don't y'all actually have to say pissed because they're wrong? Why don't we get to just say that we're angry and then that's it? Like, that's the shit that I hate. You don't even have to say if I'm wrong. You just get to say that I'm upset, which by default means I'm wrong. When I could literally, like, if you're wearing some nice-ass new shoes and I just thump the fuck out of them, how asinine would it be if I went, <laughs> you mad? <laughs> that means you're wrong. The fuck? All right. All the men commenting are the reasons women are leaving dating. Marriage and relationships behind now. We are done. Not explaining it any further. You obviously will never understand or refuse to try. Bye. Um, women aren't leaving dating. Women are doing with what women do. And this is not even to talk shit. Just explanation. Women are doing what women do, which is like chop up their needs and just spread it across all men. Example. As he just said, he, just, he doesn't. He's not attracted to him, but he likes him. But women kind of bounce that need for a male something, something like, like, hell, my grandma explained that shit to me before. I had an uncle who explained that shit to me before. They take dudes like that and they feel a need. Then the, for the, you know that question, like, can women have sexual emotions? Well, obviously they'll go have sex with a guy that they like. And then they'll go be emotional with other people, such as their friends, their, you know, any guy who might be in the friend zone, uh, their work husband. Like, they're, they're not, women aren't necessarily, well, okay, that's the wrong wording. So women are leaving dating, but they're still, they're still getting the same fix in other places. Like, they, they'll still, like, I was just watching Kendra G., Last night, she said, um, this lady said that she had a guy friend because she telling dudes how they need to come correct. She ain't settling, right? And she had a guy friend last time in snow come and shovel everything, including the street, because she ain't about to get, get, get stuck. And she said the way she talked, you would think she's demanding this guy come do that shit and get the street, nigga. So... 
you're is is you're maybe you're not dating, but y'all doing what the fuck she doing. And just having chopping it up into each need that she needs. And honestly, you're 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 not. It's, I wonder if y'all know or take and take pride in it that you're you're believe you're you're chopping down the guys you already don't want because polygyny is they call it loose polygyny. This is really really. It's very evident. So the guys that y'all are still fucking and getting pregnant by getting an abortion, not getting pregnant by whatever, they still winning. Hell, while I was at work listening to a podcast, uh, single by choices, they did a video on a woman where Kendra asked her like, "Oh, you you was fucking three weeks ago? Who was it? Is he still an option?" She said, "No, but I like to date him, but." He doesn't want he doesn't want a relationship, so I just wait until my knees, you know, reach their peak and then I call him. So y'all do shit like that. But you think this the same woman, you think she dates guys she doesn't like? She might sit at the table and watch your food. But it's not that you just it's not that you just completely don't date. Put it like that. Y'all that go get dick and then maybe have date night with each other, with your girlfriends. Maybe, you know, something like that. But you're not literally just like going to, going to work and then just going home. Just stop, stop it. You're not doing that. <clears throat> get to be around her is an equal exchange. That means her being around a man worth nothing. I'll take my self-respect. To agree to such nasa is to view a man as an ad- addendum. And not a necessity, which is deletion. I think he means delusion. Now, when you hear all the things that women complain about that men don't do, this guy has a point. That you're not just, I'm not just being around you. Like, there's there's much more to this than, than I just supposed to sit there and be happy that you've graced me with your existence. Get the fuck out of here. Not taking his rights on a woman or dating from a man who dates other men. And then she responds, you don't have to be straight to understand the healing power of divine, of a divine feminine. Goddess energy is magnetic, sensual, healing, heart and soul connected, soft and nurturing. So let me ask you, if a woman gives you all that, is there a problem buying her a salad? It sounds like you're assuming that I get all of that. Literally just from being literally. So, oh my God. You actually believe that I feel all of that just by you being within three feet of me? Have you seen y'all lately? The talking shit? Hell, y'all have been saying for a while now, we're we're masculine because... uh, Y'all made us this way. Uh, so obviously, most men wouldn't even get this until, you know, he fixed her. So like, like at what point does something give? Something's got to give. Because you can't say you, you, you're you extremely masculine because a guy has to come fix you because we've broken you. But then by being around you, I get all of this good shit. That's why I should just buy you some shit. Like, come the fuck on. Is this her? I think that's her. This is your reminder that you can hurt. Personal coach for goddesses. The question is, is she married? I can't tell if that's her. Well, that's that's the mirror. So that looks like her right hand.
I'm gonna assume she's single because she makes no reference to any man in her life, which then begs the question, what exactly are you teaching women to be? How the fuck do y'all make women like this into, into career coaches for your life? <sighs> All right. He's spitting. Trust. Women will do things for men if they feel so home. This shit again. Ladies, we're not buying the bar anymore. What I mean, and I'm talking about this bar here, this... This, I must constantly pour into someone who has no obligation to me whatsoever and can tell me to go fuck myself at any convenience. I'm not doing this. We're not. We are not doing this. And if that means I lose, then fuck it, I lose. Because I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that you get to just exist and I got a hope that I get something out of you. No, stop it. Stop. And no, I'm not signing up for the... Uh, if you if you choose to act a fool, it's still my fault. Fuck you and those rules. Not doing that. I'm not saying that there shouldn't be reciprocity. But guys think that they buy you a chicken strip and now you have to have sex Womp bump that. Uh, no. And I, had, I actually had a talk with this girl before who I was talking to. That's not the deal. That's not the case. The problem is, we know y'all fuck for way less than the chicken shirt. Real talk. Like the chick I mentioned on Kendra. Y'all have fuck for his existence. Y'all give up coochie so he comes around. Do I give up a lot of shit so he will come around? So, why am I paying? That's the question. Now, am I willing to pay up front for something? Sure. But the fact that he didn't pay, in fact, you pay him, or you gave him something to come around, you damn right I want a promise. You damn right I want, I want, I want receipts. Cause there's no fucking way, and it, the thing when when you have been in both situations, right? Because I've seen both sides of this. I've been in the situation where the shitty situation where the girl feels like because she has a vagina is like okay, now make me want to have sex. I, I I showed up. It's like what the f you like that that energy is like it's trash. And I, 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 the idea that there are dudes in marriages like that, fuck that. I don't get it. I don't get I would just leave. In fact, th those might be the dudes who left the kid too. Like, fuck it. I'm not, not saying good, but I said I probably get that. I'm sure that's why some of those dudes left. But I've also been on the side where we both kind of initiate the, the sex part. On both ends. So I know all of this shit that y'all give out for how y'all gonna have sex, I is complete bullshit. Completely. You put out freely for the dudes you want, and then for the dudes you don't want, you don't you don't charge the niggas. We know the deal. Y'all said this shit on social media for 10 years now. We know the deal. Dudes is not, well, less dudes is getting to 40 and, and, and thinking they came on or something because y'all old asses want to retire and start showing them a good time. Like, dude, dudes ain't falling for that shit no more. Well, not as much. Now dudes know, okay, I see how this works. I fall into the realm of I got to wait until she done with her, uh, and then she'll have about two or three kids. And this is, like, a lot of dudes is peeping that now. So now, when that when that time come around, and it's like, hey, I'm here. Don't you see me? When you gonna ask me out? Fuck, I'm not. Not. 
And it's not to be malicious, not to hurt you. But dudes is like, I know the deal. And I'm not signing up to, just to pay for some shit. And hope I get coochie once or twice a week. Like, that that's you y'all played that out. Y'all did. With the talking shit on the internet. Let's get a couple more because we already at the 30 minute mark. Um so many men don't like women. They want to be in the women a relationship. They like tits and pussy. They hate us. Ladies, y'all know that term y'all use, you tell it on yourself. Why doesn't this fit here? Explain that to me. Women can all day. Men hate us. They just like our, our private parts. That is it. That doesn't show shit about you. Say shit about you. <laughs> that doesn't say shit about you. That I only want to to to, to uh, satisfy a biological need. But oh, oh help, please go away after. That doesn't say shit about you. Wow. If that's if that's not just letting somebody go scot free, I don't know what is. Like the idea that there could be nothing wrong with you, that people, mass amount of people, don't like you or your group, but they do want to use you. Nothing can be said about you. Only the people that hate you or don't like you. That that is the fucking incredible. You mean dudes who rather fuck inanimate objects? There's only something wrong with them, not you. They're like being putting up with you. Let's think about it, because I'm pretty sure you're going. You're sweet. You're nice. You're blah blah blah. You're this. You're that. There are massive amounts of people who hate, who still hate you, despite having that. You're full of shit. You are so full of shit. Oh my god. Like okay, let's let's let's, let's think about this. Let's go. Yeah, you know what you get from a man, right? You get that that safe feeling, that that protective feeling. You know what I'm saying? You know that when you be around a man, that you gonna just like you gonna reap all these benefits. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have a nice salad. You gonna have a nice house. You know what I'm saying? With a car. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but y'all get the point. I'm trying. Like I accidentally imitate the wrong guy. My bad. But y'all get the point. Now imagine a guy saying he he got he provide all that. You know, and women just don't like us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all will hear that and go, maybe it's you, nigga. Like nobody likes you despite having all that. It might be you. It might. If a dude constantly said, "Look at the amazing dinners I make. This is what I do for women when they come over. Look at my house. Look, look at, look at, look at the car. Look, I bought a massage table because." Instead of just rubbing her back and then like turns into sex real quick, I actually give her a whole full back massage. But women, they just, they don't like them. They just come get the back massage and they silently leave. It sounds like there's something wrong with him, not don't it? Okay, same with you. If dudes don't like to fuck and they don't like to stick around, that should tell you, you ain't got that, you know, divine energy. You know, you got bitch energy. Change it. Like you gotta like you gotta stop only saying that it's just because misogynist. That's so lazy. And it's very, very disrespectful, honestly. To be able you can't you can't uh 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 you can't generalize all women. But somehow as convenient as y'all want it, men just casually fit under this definition. Very casually. You're a liar. Go fuck yourself and die. Be right, not positive. I'm out.